Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you the different ways you can apply a double exposure effect in Adobe Premiere Pro or any other video editor. This is a really popular music video effect. It's very simple, which I like because a lot of times now I see a lot of music videos that are overdone with a lot of crazy effects. I think the double exposure effect is very simple and very easy to accomplish. I recently saw this on the Billie Eilish NDA music video that just came out, but obviously this has been around for a long time. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. Before we get started, if you don't want to follow along with this tutorial, I actually made a preset pack with over 15 different variations of this effect that you can purchase right now. And right now it's 50% off, so make sure to check that out. Also, if you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro, you can check the link in the description as well as pinned comment for over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite if you are a student or a teacher. So to make sure to check those two links. So right here, we're in Adobe Premiere Pro. And the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate our clip. So you can hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and just drag up. And for this video, we're going to be only working with the top layer or duplicated layer. So the first uh, method you can do is you can just set the blend mode as screen and you can just scale it up and just shift it so that it's a little bit different than the bottom layer. The reason I don't like using this method personally is because what you'll notice is once you uh, select the blend mode as screen, the reason why this is bad is you can't use this in every scenario. Like for example, we have a brighter video here, right? So right here we have a brighter video, right? If we did the same exact thing and we set the top blend mode to screen, you can see it gets really washed out. The skin tones are messed up. And I personally don't really like that as well as if you uh, maybe stack effects, like if you wanted to uh, flip vertical or horizontal, like something like this, even though it looks cool, the middle gets really messed up. It gets really cluttered. So I found a different way that you can approach this that looks really nice. So instead of duplicating your clip and just setting the blend mode as screen, what you can do is you can create a mask. So I'm gonna hide the bottom layer to show you what exactly I mean. So we press on create ellipse mask and we expand it. So basically this mask is a circle and everything within the circle is shown. Everything outside the circle is not shown. Like I mentioned before, I didn't like how the middle was cluttered and it got really bright. So it wouldn't work with uh, brighter videos. So the way to fix this is we can invert this layer, this mask. So the only the outside shows and we can feather it. And so the only difference this creates is we do the exact same thing, except the middle isn't really exposed. It's not really bright. So this way we can apply a lot more effects, like stack different effects on top of each other, like the flipping, and we can use this on brighter videos. So if we unhide this layer and we scale it up like we did before, you can see how this looks like. And I personally think this looks a lot better. Um, and it, it gives you a little bit more flexibility because you could do this on brighter videos as well. So here we have the same thing. I'm gonna create a mask real quick. We're gonna expand it. We're gonna invert it and then increase the mask feather as well as scale up the video. So you can see we did the exact same thing here and you can see the overlay slightly. I think the feather might be a little bit too much, but it creates this very same effect and it doesn't make the video any more bright, which I personally like. And the reason why it's good not to really affect the skin tones and the lighting is because when people are shooting videos, maybe you're shooting the video, you're choosing the ISO and the shutter speed and the lighting scenario so that it perfectly lights the subject. And if you sort of mess that up in edit, it doesn't really look good, right? So to keep everything looking good, this is possibly the best way you can do it. So usually when we do do double exposure, we actually don't use the same clip. I'm just using the same clip in this scenario, but you would possibly use another um, clip, maybe something similar to this video. Let's just say you shot a bunch of takes. Uh, maybe you would use a second take and overlay it on top, or you would use like some sort of scenery, like a mountain or a city or something like that, right? Like if you check the NDA music video by Billie Eilish, I think they use um, a different take, but it's in the same environment, so it fits very well. So in this case, we possibly wouldn't use something like this. We'd we would use like city lights or LED lights or something in the background. But just to show you how this would possibly look, we can set the blend mode to screen real quick, and then you can see how this looks like if we play it. So you can have um, two videos that are very similar like this. The only thing, uh, once again, I don't like is that it sort of clashes in the middle but that's possibly how it could look like. Or you can possibly mask out the middle so that it doesn't clash in the middle, like I mentioned before. But in this case, the top layer is in the middle, so that wouldn't really make any sense. But if you were using some sort of B-roll or like a landscape shot, then it would work perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go back into this. 
this is more like a prism effect than double exposure effect so i'm going to go back to this variation you can once again you know flip it vertically for example flip it horizontally and it doesn't affect the middle which i like uh, but what i even like better is you can add very subtle effects like gaussian blur um, so if we just increase the gaussian blur here you can see what that does it looks like we're shooting through glass now which i personally like it almost adds more depth into the video and so if you're doing like an r b video it might look a lot more stylistic uh, by you know adding something like this or maybe you're doing a trippy music video you can search up maybe chromatic aberration and apply it on top and you can see how that subtle uh, effect really adds a lot to your video and what's great is once you have a bunch of like stacked elements that you really like let's just say you like chromatic aberration as well as noise as well as wave warp for example or or the gaussian blur you can create presets uh, very easily so in my case i have a bunch of them I have 20 uh, once again it's on sale for 50 percent off but all you have to do is just add an adjustment layer so this would replace duplicating it and you can just drag on this effect the only difference i did is i set the tint as red and black um, and made some different adjustments you also want to apply the transform effect instead of using this normal motion uh setting it basically does the same thing but by doing this you can drag and drop on adjustment layers you can see how this looks like and so this is why i made a preset like this so i have over 20 of them on sale but you can create your own as well if you figure out you know style that works for you like for example this is a really creative one that i sort of made where the middle stays colored in this case it's going to be like his head but everything else is black and white um but yeah that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, make sure to check the links in the description for 60% off Adobe as well as 50% off my product right now. But yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.